So today I'm going to talk about linear regression using least square method. So first we will look into the general concept theoretical with the example and then we will implement the equations in the C++ code. So first we will find out what is regression. Regression is used for examining the relationship between a set of independent variables and a single dependent variable and in more general regression is a linear combination of independent variables that corresponds as close as to the dependent variable and regression is mostly used for inference prediction and description so this is the general example of the linear regression model in linear regression model we find the best linear mathematical function that best defines our data yeah and this is an example of different linear mathematical functions with different intercepts and slopes so this is the general regression model and y1 in this equation is the dependent variable and x1 to xm are independent variables and uh, b0 is intercept and b1 till bm are co coefficients or uh, slopes and e1 are just random errors so this is just a scatter plot with some data and this is our question like how to draw a line to the points and how to determine which line fit best this is just example of a line drawn between the points and is this is the line best or we have another example of the line with different slope or you can find the red line is the best or the gold line is the best so similarly this is another example the line with different intercept but with same slopes and the question is still the same which one is the best and this is just another example with different intercepts and different slopes and the question is still the same which one is the best one so to answer this best one we have a method called ordinary least square so ordinary least square gives us the answer about the best fit so the best fit means the differences between actual y values and predicted y values that are minimum but positive differences of the negative ones mean square errors and y1 in this case is the actual value and y i hat is the predicted value predicted observation and we have to minimize the scale of the difference some of the square differences so this is the graphical representation of the ordinary least square and you can see these are our observations y1 y2 y3 actual observations and the y1 hat y2 hat y3 hat are the predicted observations these are the projections of the actual observations on the line and we have to minimize this error actually the sum scared of this term so this is the general equation of the least square and this is the error term this is our observations and x is the design matrix and beta is the set of vectors of unknown parameters so the method of least square is used to estimate the beta the unknown parameters and which minimizes the sum of square errors so this is our error term we have to minimize the square so we can write it in a product form like this and we can simply multiply these two uh, products so first y bar y and y and the second term is x b hat bar when there is a bar in the whole term it will get inverted so it's b hat bar x bar y and the same goes for the other combination here so in the end we will simply get this equation and to find the minimum of this equation we just take the first derivative with respect to the unknown parameters and put it equal to zero and we do here the same we just take the first derivative with respect to unknown parameters and put it equal to zero and by simply solving it's just simple mathematics 
and in the end we just get a simple equation so this is this beta is over unknown parameters or best parameters and this x is the design matrix and y and how we can write these matrices and vectors we can look into an example so this is our general equation so and we can now we can represent this equation in the matrix form so these are our observations y so we can write like this in a matrix form and this x is our design matrix we can simply write like this in a matrix form and this p naught p1 are the unknown parameters so and e1 are the error terms so this is the matrix representation of the general equation so this is our the equation we need to solve so now we have our x and we have our y so we just simply plug those matrices here and in the end we just solve these matrices and get our best fit, fit parameters so x bar x is actually the matrix consists of the sum of the sum of all elements the total number of elements here the sum of all elements and the square sum of all elements and x bar y is just simply the matrix consists of the sum of y elements and the sum of product of x and y so we just simply plug in the values and solve the matrices and in the end we get our best fit parameters a intercepts and b slopes and these are our best fit parameters we can find using ordinary square so the next thing we can move on how to implement this concept in a programming uh, I am preferring the C++ program because in my opinion I like C++ because C++ is faster than Python so let's go to the programming so first of all I'm going to include the important libraries I am include the app stream to read the data from the file and matplotlib to just plot the data and uh, icon library to just perform simple matrix operation now i'm going to write the main function of my program so first i create the vector of data x and the vector of data y and then i have created the variable to open the file so now i'm going to open my file the file that contains the data and its dataset.txt and my file containing just two columns so if the file is somehow fails to open so uh, then we will just simple print out the error message and uh, if the file is failed to open there is no point to continue the program so we will just terminate the program and if the file is going to open we are just using the for loop to simply read the data from the file and you now I am creating the changing the size of my vector data x now i'm going to read the data from the file the first column and in my vector data x and now i'm going to resize my data y and now i'm reading the data from the file in my vector data y it's just the second column of my file so now i'm going to close my file now i'm just using the simple matplotlib library to plot the data and this is just uh, uh, used to plot the data and yep so now if everything went fine so we will compile the program and see how the data looks like so now i'm going to compile the program and this is how our data looks like this is our x coordinate and y coordinate and there are some uh, data points so the next thing is i'm going to fit the line the best fit line using the list i'm going to create uh, my observation vector and uh, and uh, i'm just resizing my observation vector and then i'm using the for loop to fill my observation vector which is nothing else just a data y so the next thing i am uh, going to create the vector for uh, unknown vector and then uh, to find the redundancy redundancy is just simply the number of observations my number of unknowns and uh, the next thing I'm going to create a design matrix and uh, a design matrix of known size and I'm going again use the for loop to fill my design matrix 
and the first column of my design matrix is just simply the data x and the second column of my design matrix is just once so now i'm going to create the covariance matrix it is actually used to weight your observations so i am giving equal weight to each observation so i've created the identity matrix so now i'm going to use the least square equation to find the best unknown parameters so by using this equation we can get our best unknown parameters to uh, and yes so now i am creating a vector for the line space to sim just plot the data this is just to create the x axis and uh, same for loop to fill the line space and, and now i am going to create the vector y and the equation of the line is y is equal to mx plus c so we have found our unknowns unknown 0 is over m the slope and unknown 1 is over uh, offset so we just create the equation and now we just simply plot the data and if everything went fine now we can see the output of our algorithm so now i'm going to make the program and here you go this is our uh, the output a line this is the best fit line uh, that best represents our data so thank you